Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber, and I want to talk to you about Kusama. Okay, Kusama is not the normal kind of coin that I cover, just if we look at the market cap, obviously it's not a low cap gem, okay, it's currently at 152 million, almost 153 million actually, okay, but it does have a low total supply of 10 million, one of the reasons why I don't mind buying it with a market cap at that price point at the moment. As you can see, Kusama is taking off at the moment. I managed to get my buy order just over this line. Okay, and uh, why? Okay, we can see that it's clearly in an uptrend, all right? And when you see this market, when coins are going down, a lot of coins are losing value at the moment. You can see there's certain coins that are going up. And I'd rather sit in a coin that is going to the upside rather than a coin that is going to the downside. or rather not ride a downtrend. All right, guys? So, um, yeah, it's just about being smart with where you uh, leave your capital, all right? Um, as you can see, it is an uptrend, all right? And then we see this volume coming in here. On the one day, we see a bullish MACD cross to the upside. On the RSI, we see that still going to the upside. We also see that we did get a price impulse up to this line that I'm, that I'm waiting for it to uh, break back through again now. But what do we see? We see it come back down to test this support. And we see this W forming, okay? Little bounce up, come back down a little bit more, create a new support line, which is the white line. And then we get uh, that W pattern going to the upside. Hopefully we can get some momentum and some volume to push that further to the upside. Every now and again, you have to adjust your support lines, okay? So you can see the original support line is my pink line, all right? And as the trend gets stronger, you have to adjust your support lines. There's nothing wrong with that, all right? So what we can see is we've got my white line, which is a new support. If this, if this did get rejected off here, this could be potentially a double top, all right? And then it would come back down. You would want to see it hold this support and then come back for like a more like a cup and handle type of pattern to the upside. And I like to see those W patterns going up, all right, guys? And that's what I'm looking for here. Now, Kusama is obviously we've looked at the, the fact that it's a, it's, uh, the market cap is quite high, but still quite low compared to the total supply. All right. We also see there is a top 100 coin currently ranked at 80 on the coin market cap. So this could quickly get into the top 50. You know, it's not far. Now, Kusama is an early, unaudited, and unrefined release of Polkadot. Kusama aims to serve as a proving ground, allowing teams and developers to build and deploy a parachain. Or try out Polkadot's governance, staking nomination, uh, and validation functionality in a real environment. Okay, if we go to the Polkadot, uh, sorry, the Kusama website, all right, it actually explains that Kusama is basically a cousin of Polkadot. All right, let's have a read of that here. Unprecedented interoperability and scalability for blockchain developers who want to quickly push the limits of what's possible built using Substrate with nearly the same code base and industry leading multi-chain infrastructure as Kusama's cousin, Polkadot. All right, it's actually built by Gavin Wood as well, who's the founder of Polkadot and also the founder of Kusama. Kusama is a scalable network of specialized blockchain built using Substrate and nearly the same code base as Polkadot that we were before. The network is an experimental development environment for teams who want to move fast and innovate on Kusama. Or prepare for deployment on Polkadot. Kusama was founded in 2019 by Gavin Wood, founder of Polkadot and co-founder and former CTO of Ethereum. Kusama is also being compared to the likes of Cardano by some. Okay, Now Cardano was actually created by Charles Hoskins. Charles Hoskinson, sorry. Okay, Charles Hoskinson and Gavin, Gavin Wood, the founder of Polkadot and Kusama, they were also both co-founders of Ethereum, all right? So the people creating these projects, they know what they're doing, all right? And this just makes it basic, basically makes it quickly for people that are building on the blockchain, they can integrate with something like Kusama 
and it's fast, you know, and, and, and you, you're going to get a reliable network, reliable system. It's an alternative to the likes of uh, Ethereum or, um, um, you know, the, the, the TRX platform and so on. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely some hype around this one, just like there is a lot of hype around Polkadot. And the platforms that are being built, the, or, or the blockchains that are being built on top of the Polkadot platform, are quickly becoming um, becoming uh, very uh, popular. Okay, there's a lot of interest being formed or being created in regards to these coins. All right, so basically, I'm buying into the hype on this one. All right, I like the way it's moving on a, in the chart exactly at the moment. Uh, I like I like these uptrends. All right, if you look at something like Ocean Protocol, for example, this is one that I never really got into, but I did watch it. I, some of these projects, I do just watch them, you know. I don't take positions in everything. But if you see from its inception, it went down just a little bit, okay. But then from then, there was just a consistent uptrend, okay. These W patterns, consistent uptrend in uh, Ocean, all right. Before you get this massive price spike to the upside, and now you can see. Obviously, you know, Ocean has taken off, all right, and um, yeah, that's what I'd like to see, something like that with Kusama. Whether it's going to happen or not, only time can tell, guys, you know, you can't get everything right, but if, uh, what did they say, no risk, no reward, all right, so yeah, I've risked a few pennies into Kusama, we'll have to see where it can take us, all right, um, I want to see it get above this level, and I want to see that price discovery. Uh, well, well, well to the upside. I'd like to see it do something like what Ocean Protocol did and just go mad to the upside. That would be nice. That would be just a great trade for me uh, personally. If we lower the time frame, okay, you can see that the MACD is still bullish even on the four hour time frame. It's heading to the upside. The momentum is quite high, but uh, you know, we could see it even get as high as this. Uh, it's been higher before sometimes. It's good to look left. In regards to expectations okay so yeah there's much it could go much higher uh, so yeah not too worried about that obviously we can see we've got that support line we recently just got it come down bounce off the support line and now it's trying to head back up we just see another green candle printed to the upside and break through this level and continue upwards the RSI is in overbought territory but it did get that little bit of a pullback and I'd like to see that continue to the upside or at least continue sideways along this line and take it a little bit further. We actually got a bounce off the MACD on the one hour, so even on the short term time frame, it did look like it was going to come over and do a bearish cross. Okay, managed to avoid that and get a bounce off the line and some more momentum to the upside. All right, and the RSI uh, paints the same picture on the four hour. Okay, so yeah, we can definitely see that there could potentially be some more upside for Kusama. From the time that I got in, I'm actually in a profit, and that's always a good way to start off a trade, rather than start off, you, know, you buy it, and then you know it falls and you're in a loss. Okay, so that's Kusama, guys. It's just a quick one, just to put that on your radar. I'm not saying to run in and FOMO in and buy this now, okay, just because I bought it, okay? I am trying to thing with this one, um, and like I say, the trend is your friend till the end. It isn't an uptrend. And rather than just sitting something that's just plummeting down or going slowly down and getting little bounces and then carrying on to the down, carrying on to the downside, rather sitting something like this at the moment at least, uh, while I see it, you know, trending upwards um, consistently. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about Kusama? Do you like it? Do you think it's one to watch? Or do you think I've got it wrong with this one and this one just like not really got a future in it? Uh, I think it has, alright? But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Leave a like on the video. And I guess I'll see you in the next video.